right? So, yeah, yeah, plucked out his eyes and then planted them and they grew into lotus flowers. Lotuses that then illuminate the world or something. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's where we left off the last time. So Seth um, basically gave Horus a beating and took out his eyes, which grew into lotus flowers. Yep, I think that's exactly where we left it. Right. Oh, and I don't think we had the next one, starting from Wenin. So, yeah, usual question. Who wants it? I can try. All right. So, Wenin Setecher E, or E I, E I N F. So then, uh, so then Seth returned to him, which I think is raw. You have heard Jed and Pray Herakti. Okay. And then you know, he returned. And then as he was re after he returned, he said to Ra, uh, in. Let me make it a bit bigger. Aj. Uh, oh, you're here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aja. I think that is false. Oh, right. He's lying. Right. Okay. So he said in a jar lying, mm -hmm. Bupu e gen her. Mm -hmm. So he said, he said lying, uh, I didn't find Horus. Her eu gem an f gem f su. When in fact he had found Horus. Awesome. Yep. 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 That's what I think too. Um, anything to point out? I think there are quite a few things actually. Interesting ones. Maybe about the grammar, maybe about, I mean, first of all, there's this weird spelling, right? E -I. E -I, yeah. I just kind of treated it as E. Right. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Definitely. E. Yeah. <laughs> Did you try the dictionary? Is there an entry for that spelling? I thought Lesko had that actually, but you know what? Let's look. You want to take a look? Sure. And I can see if wait, I have Lesko here electronically, so might as well. I'm so jealous that you have a hard copy of Lesko. Oh, beautiful. It, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a nice set, actually. Like the first edition is kind of a ratty paperback, but. You both have it, don't you? Yeah. Yep. It's two. It's two volumes, right? Yeah. Yep. And mm. the only place to still for sale if you want one. Yeah. Merit Seeger. Yeah. I think it's around two hundred, if I'm not mistaken. It's <laughs> yeah, it's expensive. And to be very honest, while it's very nice to have, I always use the electronic one. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> but you, you normally, I'm lazy to get up or something and get the book. I mean, you're sitting on your on your sofa, right? And then, and then, am I going to go upstairs or am I going to just use the PDF? Speaking of which, uh, PDF, where are you? Here we go, at the top. Very top, yeah. You can tell that there was a break. Um, and we want E, so somewhere under, oops, apologies. That's N. Wasn't there a trick to get the... There was a trick to get. No, never mind. So it's page sixteen. Thank you. Sixteen, uh, really? Like my eye, right? Wow. There we go. Right, yeah, there it is. Lesestücke 472. Wouldn't be surprised if that's us again. I'm going to say, is that us? 46 and 47. Would have to check. But yeah, at least two citations for it. Um, they have the, uh, the olive bird. Say that one more time. So yeah, there's two Lesestücke examples with the olive right. bird of the spelling. And then there's some more down here. Yeah. Lake Egyptian miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous and uh, that's it, it seems. But at least three then, three attestations. Hmm. I mean, in Lesko. So it's a thing. Um, why? Something about the, the vocalism, right? But what exactly? Who knows? Uh, 
That would be a really interesting question. He can also see that they put the the um, the A2 man as well. And oh. that normally would be some kind of A sound later. So A8. Or a leading particle. Like it's weird they have that as part of the regular spelling. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it may indicate that. So this, mm -hmm. the one that we're looking at, the verb form is an infinitive. And so he doesn't write the T. In our case, he just writes the, the smudge glyph, which could be like a year also. Who knows? So a -ye, a -ye, I'm completely making this up, but really makes you wonder. Is it to indicate that it's like bisyllabic? I don't know. Something like that. Must have a reason. But okay, so we have that one. Um, and then why is there an F? I mean, an F. Um, when in Sutecher Iye... Uh, Do you think that's reflexive? He like he took himself back. Like I, I took it as referring to he went back to Ray. But yeah, no, that I mean it's it's maybe that would be air. It, it it could be he went, but then again, exactly to Ray should be should be air, right? Or maybe yeah. could, if you want to be like extra respectful, but not end. I think that's this thing that you yeah. also see in Bohiric. Where you go yourself, basically, and it does, they do that in late Egyptian too, like like uh, with what later becomes Moshe uh, or Shem to walk. Um, you you Shem yourself, basically. You 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 have a reflexive dative. I think that's what that is. So that part he returned himself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he turned he turned himself, like we say in English, basically. That's that's sort of it. Herjet in Parikharachti in Aja, like you said, falsely. Bupui, we've discussed before, is just a standard uh, negative perfect, uh, which later becomes MP, etc. In, in Coptic, with the infinitive. So I haven't found um, the G seven. I didn't really get until I looked at Ramses. The the G they parse that as the, as a suffix pronoun. Ooh, the bird the on a stick. Oh, the bird on a stick. Oh, oh my. Bupui, like like it's not bupu. It's bupui. Yeah, no, you're right. Say. I didn't, I completely skimmed over that. Me too. I didn't even catch my eye. I'm no, just, but... <laughs> they're just scattered throughout the text. I just breeze past Well, them. yeah, they're everywhere and they usually don't. G7, I'm like, yeah, G7. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Just move on, toddle on. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> True. That is but, the, it's the. But first... I think to negate the sentence, you have to have a pronoun there. Yes, I think you do. Mm. Or, wait. Can you use Bupui Gemi pair? No, yeah, right. Because the G seven after Horus is just to, it's just a determinative. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Right. Right. No, no. I think that's what it is. It's really Bupui, and spelled with the the falcon on a stick. Yeah. On a stick. So I have not found, like you said, Horus, even though I thought that was a good translation. Or while while he had found him, so Gimuf Gimuf. Um, he found Su him with the uh, object pronoun, and this one here is just a simple past. And the other day, I found where Poise took the U from. So, yep, best guess right now is it will be something like Gimuf instead of Gimuf. May he find it's still a bit shaky, though. I mean, the, the analysis that leads to that vowel is not absolutely 100% uh, certain, but hey, best we have. Very good. Anything else? Those are all the things I was worried about. The, <laughs> I yeah. mean, the N, the N before uh, Aja. Uh, like right. I just sort of, I just treated it as an adverbializing thing, but you know, like it seems like in Middle Egyptian that would have been an N. Which it like could a, be because M and N are on their way to to being confused now, right? Sometimes uh, they're just confused. Mm. Yeah, no, that's a really good call out, though. Let's have a quick look what Ramses makes out of that. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, they read it as M. Ooh. There you go. Mm. I think your instinct is right. You read it as M. Okay. You read it as M. And that makes way more sense, right? N Ajar doesn't really. Yeah, Let's see what they make. Two or... Let's see what they make out of the other out of the the. Um, yeah, they actually do the reflexive. They do it reflexive, yeah. In uh, in French, which is nice. Okay, cool. Um, 
and past tense. And like you said. Yep. Oh, uh, I didn't catch that. Was that on there as well? Yeah, this should one. Be. Past mm -hmm. tense. Yeah. Should be. Should be. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Here's the, the first person as well. Uh, nice. Should we take a quick look at the hieratic before we move on? Um, yeah. Anything exciting? I'm just going to let my eyes glide down the line, basically. Sutech. Um, Sorry, could you zoom in a bit? I can read the hieroglyphs of this size, but I can't read the hieroglyphs. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Very fair, yeah. Um, but slightly offset. The, the E is interesting, the way you do it. It's like a like a cross between a between a B and a, and a reed leaf, right? An I, yeah. Um, I don't see this much. Even. It's not there. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong word. Um, the wrong spot. <laughs> he's the Aleph, yeah, Aleph bird. That's why. And it's not a smudge. It looks like double strokes to me, like we've transcribed. Yeah. Right. Is that what? Is that what uh, Gardner has? Yeah. It was one of the entries in Lesco. I mean, it was one of the options under the Lesco. Okay. Right. No, he just doesn't yeah. have this combination here with the Aleph bird in there. But look at the next page. Oh, this one here, to pass. You're right. Sure, that's exactly it. Like That's our spelling. I don't think the main meaning makes any sense. But... No, no. Does it matter? No. I kind of doubt that. No. I think it's just phonetic. <laughs> Okay. Um, ba, 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 enough. Okay. UF. UF. Uh, Jed. Jed what? Jed en pari charachti. Pari charachti. That's always easy because that's such a nice long string. You already know what it is. It's so long. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all like just one thing. Right. En aja. Then we have their en a. Uh... Yeah, yeah. jaw is the normal thing. Yeah, this little that thing. A is, I, I don't know. Yeah, you have to take that on faith. Could be anything. <laughs> All right, what else? Bupui, or however that Very was actually pronounced, MP or something, MP. Yeah, well, we've got a full writing for the Y1 scroll. Yes, mm. it does. Just rare in this text. Super big gem. Mm, gem. <laughs> Again, the, the scroll. The big scroll. And then here, the... the uh, that, that is a very abbreviated Horus. Like, yeah. Is some of it missing? We had that one twice already. Um, he Did we have that one before? Okay. Yeah, we had this one. Um, it's it's a... Um, geez, how do I say this? Alternative form. I could only think of the German word. It's like an alternative, an, an alternate form is what I want to say. An alternate form of, of Horus. The other one is the... The traditional one, right? Um, annotate, where are you? Draw something like, and then with the long tail and the and the legs, something of that nature. But you can also do this thing, where it's just like, it looks almost like Jed. He does it three times already. And it looks like the downstroke is not connected. Uh, this one here, like it's yeah, like it's three strokes, not two. One, hmm. two, and then pick up and then here, go down right? again. Stop, 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 stop. Like this is how I would see it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And how you get from Horus to that? No idea. Um. Here you gem 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 move. I'm just going to stick with that pronunciation, whether it's true or not. Um, and what? So, okay, good enough. Yep. The nice thing is we can, I mean, I think by now we can read this just by looking at the hieratic, actually. Yeah, it's, I'm not going to claim that. It's interesting how the Su is like turned into the large form of the W curl, the ligature mm -hmm. there. Like it looks like they, I guess they must have picked their pen up, but they still made it touch. Yes, indeed. I mean, it must be something like this, this, and then start this one. You can sort of see it because it starts lighter, but then again, I mean, if I didn't know better, you could think it would go like this, but I'm pretty sure it's like that. And then starting. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it must have been riding on a monkey. I, mean, I can see the W's <laughs> <laughs> in the chat. Too funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Who wants the next one? Well done. Thanks, Ralph. Oh, and I see Chris is online. Chris and Peter. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hello. Glad you made it. Welcome back, both of you. Glad to be back. Wow. Be back. Cool. Hey, guys. Hello. Oh, Peter. I didn't see Bye. you. <laughs> yeah, I just barely got here. Sorry. <laughs> it's been just... a long, long time, Peter. Oh, it has been. What line are we on? Uh, uh, that would six. be ten six middle, starting at one in. Oh, okay. Ten six. Like we're missing another rubric there in the transcription. Yeah. So, good point. Starting with the win in that sentence. Yep. Yep. Although honestly, that's not very distinctive on this page. <laughs> they all start with win in. Yeah, picking up from win in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So this one in. So, yep. If if that's okay with you, Chris, I'll I'll jump in. Okay. You got it. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I have win in, hutor, neb, necht, resi, her, shem, us, gim. And then that keeps going to the next win in. So then it's hor, us, sejer, her. Rem, her, ta, chast. Yep. Okay. Not so on. that would be then Hathor, Lady of the Sycamore, well, Southern Sycamore, went. And then I think she found Horus. He was lying and weeping in the desert. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Okay. And almost all these words are still there in Coptic, which is amazing but true. So when in Khatur, Nim, I guess. Nim no, how do you say how do you say Lord again in Coptic? Nip or Nim? Uh I yeah, mean, I'm let's Joyce. See. <laughs> Joyce, yeah. Joyce. Joyce is the normal word. I'm not sure if that one's still there, actually. But then Nuche is there for, for Sycamore. Res oh, is there nice. for Southern. Hmm. Uh, okay. Shem becomes, becomes She, I believe. Yeah, of course, She. Chine, uh, to find. Uh, okay. Jer, I don't know. But hmm. Ribe, to, to weep, is still there. Chasset, I don't know. Foreign lands. Uh, that one, I don't know. But like, yeah, as usual, like 80% of the sentence are still there in Coptic. Which is kind of a... but what is the random question? What did the cops call the Greeks? Did they did they call them like the Hellenes or did they? I the don't Ionians, know. the Ionians, the uh, oh, we... the Ionians. Okay, the, the Achaeans or something like that. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe those were the first ones that that arrived. I don't know, but uh, that's that's what the names formed. It's like the the Weening. It's called. Uh, oh, know. interesting. Okay. Gentiles. Okay, but it, it's really not. That's the translation. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool stuff. I think Very the cool. sentence was spot on. Anything we need to point out? Um I'm trying to think if I had any questions about the hieratic. Okay, let's take a look at that. Maybe make it bigger. So hardcore. Oh yeah, I was wondering. If, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I found something. Wait, I'm mildly confused just now. Um, yeah, hot is clear, but uh -huh. what exactly? The her is ligatured. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a stroke. And it's not spelled as Horus at all. It's just spelled out phonetically as as Hor plus mm. plus a T and a, and I mean it's not 
completely unusual, but at least worth noting, right? That it doesn't do it the way that you'd think it would be, like like house right. or something, but it's spelled out phonetically, essentially. So chatore mm -hmm. or something. Chatore, nib or whatever. Nib, na, nuche, nachet, nachet. Yeah. Um, oh, body there, really, yeah. And then the nice cobra. What else? I don't think we had the the sign for southern yet for Resi. So that yeah. one, it's new. Um, that almost looks like a a guy with our outstretched arm. It does, you know right? It like got the head and the knee and the arm. Anyway. Yeah, I saw a few of those in New York yesterday directing traffic. It looks <laughs> <laughs> and it was necessary. Gosh, what a mess. Um oh. <laughs> shame. <laughs> What's going on here? So we have a nice MT ligature. Um Yeah. What's that thing above the legs? Is it like F one one five, the smudge glove? <laughs> okay, so it's just a smudge. Okay, all right. No, no significant, it's just as much. Okay. It, it often, it's a good question. It often stands where you would expect a T or um, a, a dual stroke. Uh, it may just yeah. often described as a, as a space filler, so you don't really know what it is, honestly. Some kind of dot. Hmm. Okay. That's all I know about it. Um, US scheme, the get here of M and the, the book roll. It's that Z-shaped book roll, so that becomes like one, one sign here. What else? Uh, Chorus, UF, Sejer. I think that's familiar already. This is apparently how you write a person lying on the bed. That's really cool. That's a cool glyph. It is. And then the little thing at the end, the determinative in three strokes, always that way. It's not a circle, because that's hard to make with the tool they used. Um, this we had, this we had, Rime, small M and W, huge I at the end. Um, yeah. Her, yeah. Her ta and ta, again, you have to know, it's just a common ligature, but yeah, you just have to know that that's what it is. Um, yeah, so it, it is. is. Yeah, they're uh, fast. And the I and Rime is not the same as the I and ear. It's, right, right. It's got the extra yeah. like eyelashes or shiny lines or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I think it's the same eye into C, like Peter. Um uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think it's the same one. Very cool. It's so interesting. Did they ever draw that you're aware of like tears in an eye? So I mean you've got like the horse eye with the falcon bit underneath the eye. I just wonder if, so we have the common emoji, right? <laughs> Not that there's any connection between our crying eyes, right? And, you know, but it, it's just interesting culturally how, uh, yeah, it, it would seem like at least we've come to accept the idea that there's tears that go down from an eye, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. Well, the thing is, um, it, it, it definitely exists as a, as a hieroglyph. Right? Does it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, I'm just not sure if it I don't think I've ever seen this one here. Um does that occur as a uh as a hieratic sign? Let's see. Well, one single attestation. There you go. Huh. And claim of those, those are tears, we think, and not light or something. Because it looks a lot like the, the sun disc with the rays coming down. Yeah, like the Aten or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's obviously a UFO when you when you think of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it is. Yes, and they, and they just don't want you to know about it. I mean, it's <laughs> right. It's a conspiracy. That's right. But would have to look the 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 context up. But I mean, the the rime the hmm. the itself uh, runs this online. That's oh no, let's not do this. Then we're going to lose our page. No, I'm not YouTube either. Ha. Huh? Jeez, that's an automatism. You want to go on the web? Hit YouTube. Uh, Rams is <laughs> amazing. This is so scary. Um, Fleury, here we go. There you go. So, huh. 
I mean, in, in the hieroglyphs, that's okay. nothing unusual. Huh. But that's not how you'd find it on the papyrus. I mean, these are all papyrus. Yeah. Yeah, they're not on the wall. So I guess they, they just basically fill that in as a hieroglyphic transcription. Interesting. So, yeah. Huh. huh. So it is used some, somewhat. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, no, thank you. We have another sentence now. Let's see. Hey, only 135. We can do another one or two. Can I can I point something out that I, I saw in, in the line above? Yeah, of course. Where uh -huh. it says um where it says never um yeah, so we have we have hut hut her neb nehet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I see her name, I've seen her normally she's called the mistress of the West, but I notice here they're calling her mistress of the South, right? Of the Southern Sycamore. Yeah. Southern of the Sycamore, Southern yeah. Sycamore. Oh, okay. So was there a northern sycamore? Um, I think I'm wrong. Hmm. <laughs> uh, now you're asking. I don't really recall what that was. Uh, let's see. Um, Somebody needs to make like a cool interactive map of places and meanings in, in Egyptian landscape. <laughs> wouldn't that be amazing? That would be so cool. Uh, this is TLA for you. I'm sure it wants a no, not either. What am I? Yeah. Capital H. This, uh, I think does uh, they use Manuel Dakotas, right? So it should be capital. No, it, it was that. I still had a German switch to him in there. Um, here we go. Sycamore. The place of the sycamore. Sanctuary of Hato at Giza. Well, that's, in, that's not exactly in the south, is it? I mean, depends on from from how you're looking at it. Um, mm, the two sycamores of, the, of of T, but that doesn't help. Mm. Does it say anything about southern or northern? Nope, it doesn't. Any ideas? Mm. Just gonna play dumb. Nope, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's oh, good. maybe it's a gnome. See the Wikipedia article. Yeah. Uh, Northern Sycamore and Southern Sycamore. Land. There we go. That's kind of cool. Uh, by the way, to your point about a map i love this map uh this oh is, yeah that's so cool this is really whoever cool. did that is serious amount exactly. of time whoever oh, did wow. that if you watch this props to you this is awesome <clears throat> yeah, right but, so where's the sycamore here there we go lower sycamore upper sycamore But no southern. Right. I don't know if it's south. Oh, that's another good point, yeah. Wait, so these are all upper Egypt. Yeah, so I think I saw something about Giza. So isn't that up north? Right, that would be north. Like huh. Around Cairo? Indeed, yeah. So there's something with a... But wait, it doesn't even say. How does this work? It twenty at uh, the next group twenty and twenty one are the upper sycamore and lower sycamore. Oh, okay. So lower would be northern, right? In theory. Yeah, I think. I think so all upper Egypt. And south would be upper. The whole thing. Ish. Now I'm confused. Well, can we find out anything about that? Um, this is the map, but do we have an article or something? I don't want to live in Viperland. That just sounds dangerous. It does sound 
Uh, I'm not sure if that makes for... Here we go. So, yeah, we just look at that. That was 2021, like Aaron said. Um, I mean, maybe this is upper and lower relative to each other, not upper and lower Egypt. You know, so oh, sure, those sure, don't necessarily yeah. have to be named for... Right. It doesn't have to be be a night of the weeping today. There we go. What are these anyways? Translation. Okay. Not... Oh, I see what they're, they're just going off of this. Oh. There's no, more glyphs. No, no, when you zoom in, you see it. Oh, that's cute. Let's look at 2021. Oh, yeah, there you go. Same thing. Huh. huh. I have no idea. Note that it's not in the name per se. I mean, it doesn't say Nechet in there. Oh, Nachet in there. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting research question. And what does all of this have to do with Hathor when her her sycamore place is in, in Giza? Right, yeah. Yeah. Beats me. No idea. That's where she keeps her summer sycamore, her winter sycamore. She's a <laughs> so wealthy lady. Yeah. She's a snowbird. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> For the flood season. <laughs> right. That makes so much sense now. Okay, doc. <laughs> What's the next one? Well done. Thanks, Peter. I can go ahead and go. Okay. And I think we, so we have when yeah, we're there yeah, after the desert. So we have when in this meh mehim meh meh him. Mm -hmm. uh, no, yep. Wa gahes. God has set. That's one word, isn't it? Yeah, God has set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have you set. Uh oh, we have the lion. So is the lion here? Is it is it an L? Um, or is it? Um, yeah, no, that that's good. Um, I think it's an R. Could could be an L though. I mean, you really wouldn't know, but I think it's an R from from the word itself. The word is good. HR. Okay. okay, well, my first thing familiar just is to say Ru or or just yeah. R, but okay. I think it's just an R because it's it's syllabically spelled. So uh, you don't take the, the W for full. It's just you use a syllabic sign to indicate a single consonant. Okay. So you could, uh, you could also spell it uh, blah, blah, blah. I think it could also just be. Basically, her, I think. I'm not mistaken. And it means to milk. Thank God. You're ready to ask you what does that mean? Ah, yeah, there's the finger. <laughs> and I don't know what determinatives that would get otherwise. We need to look it up. Okay. I'm going to go on. There's um, another, uh, yeah, another sentence there. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have you set hair jet ni haru. One, where am I? Papa, uh, papa, you said jet and haru, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have um. So then she filled right the um a a what is that, is that water skin? Oh no, wait, wa the no, not the. Excuse me. Um, a water skin, then she filled. No, no, oh. okay, I'm missing something here. Yeah, you need, the, the, yeah. Word, you need the word uh, gehesed, which is a gazelle, it's an it's an animal, as you can tell from the uh, from the sorry, not in so is that that's the, the gazelles of a, a water skin, a gazelle skin, or uh, oh, where do you get hen? So she, oh, I see, I see the first thing. So mech is confusing because the two words that are very often confused. Um, one is to fill and one is to seize. And in this case, it's the word to seize. It's uh, not the word to fill. To seize. Okay. Cut the little arm. Okay. Got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. So then, so, so then she seized the, the gazelle. 
That's right. Uh, a gazelle. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. A gazelle. Oh, sorry, not the. Excuse me. We did this right. A gazelle. Mm -hmm. All right, and she. Uh, you set and she milked, as you said. Yeah. It. That's right. Nice. <laughs> Oh, she grabs a gazelle and milks it. All right. And as one she... does. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that that was possible, but yeah, okay. Yeah, and that's why I'm kind of like, wait, you can milk a gazelle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and she, um, you can milk and she anything if you're dedicated it. enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be too graphic, but I, wait, I wait, which, animal, which movie was that? Animal. That's from a movie. <laughs> you can milk anything. If... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, I remember that it's from a story somewhere. About really? something. <laughs> it said literally, you can milk anything if you if you're diligent enough or something. Oh, well, that comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris, but... <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, she's fast though. She could do that, man. And then she, yeah, she spoke to Heru. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Want to say that? Want to take the next part? What she actually said to Horace? Yes. And so we have you. Oh, or not, not you. We have e when erect ek d e. Is that d e? That's a c the one. Yes, d e na e. Um, this is a something you know, I'm trying to do the grammar at the same time. E er erect. Is that a milk jug? That's a. It's a milk jug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, ir, 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 milk, irritet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Im. Uh oh. Irritet, im. Okay, I see a preposition with nothing after it, though. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll come to that. Um, opened. So, she opened. Oh, you. Ooh, this is her phones are killing me. This is a. So this is an imperative, so open, uh, open your eye. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's an imperative, you got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open your eye. And then I put nai, these milk. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need your help. So we have, so open, so we have uh, put put milk in it. Is that kind of how it is? Put, I see it that. No, not yet that. That would be put. That would be two. I think you had it um, right, actually. Um, you had open your eye, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then you had said uh, that I, that I give, nigh, these, these of milk therein. Um, I think the one thing that's confusing is why milk has a plural. That's kind of... Mm -hmm. I would have expected ta erotet. I mean ta irotet or however you want to pronounce it, but um why it has nai beats me. Seems seems illogical from, from an English perspective. But I think that's what it means. Open your eyes so that uh, so that I may put the this milk in there, essentially. Well, the word milk has plural markings often, strangely. So that is true. That is yeah. true. Is milk a collective? Maybe it might be a collective. I don't see why though. Yeah, that's what I've always thought, but yeah, it doesn't just... make any sense. Right. Why would you? I mean, I can see how you would like see bread as a collective or, or fruit, but milk? I mean it's look liquid. Who knows? But yeah. No, but I think otherwise you, you had it. So sees the she sees the gazelle. And she milked it, and she said to Horace, "Open your eye." It's like in English, you would want to say, "Open your eyes, so that I may put this milk in there." Okay, fair enough. Well done. Anything else to point out? Yes, there's one thing that's super annoying, and I don't know what it is. What is the M here? Um, in Coptic, we have this this object marker. Where you, when you have like a direct object, um, you can either put it onto an infinitive or you can put it, um, you can put an object marker basically, which is M or N. 
I mean, it depends on what consonant follows. And this almost looks like it. And I've seen that a few times now in late Egyptian, but it's not required. Like a Coptic where you have to have it like all over the place, depending on the verb form. Um, it's rare, but it almost behaves like this, right? She mech em wa gechesed. That feels like an object marker. I'm not sure if there's another explanation for it. Um, as a matter of fact, let's see. Uh, Lotus, blah, blah, blah. Next page. Uh, I think it's on page 77, maybe, or 76. Um, page 77 in Dardana? Or? No, in, in Ramsey's where you're at. It's there. You're there it's, it we're, we're looking right at it. There it is. It's right there. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, yeah, they don't, they just take connector. Thank you. That's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, mech, mech, to to grab, to take. Does it always take an M? I don't think so. Um, I apologize for the messy screen here. Um, mech. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where is it? Well, that's the one to fill, which should have the the book live, but it doesn't always. Often it, it mm -hmm. they write the um the one with the hand, the stick. So it's not a reliable indicator. See here or, or the other way around. Here the here's written with the, the book glyph, even though it means to to take to ah, okay. So you have hermech emoi. Now that has an M here. As a as a is that what it is? Is it always oh look at that? Huh. Mech em rome nib. Again an M. So maybe that's just how you construct this verb. Oh yeah. This is the past tense saying mechen or mechun. We have uh, we have taken M Jehuti, and that's not the god, that's uh I think the the general Jehuti in the story. Um, so we've taken Jehuti. You know what? You just construct this verb with M. I never knew that. This is very cool. Um, still the same papyrus, though, so it's a bit risky. But here also, take the city, uh, namely a city of, of Jaffa or, or Joppe. Mech uh, em patime. Very cool. So now we know what that is. That's just how you construct this verb, apparently. You mech em something. All right. Awesome. Learn something new. Interestingly, even almost all of those French translations also had seized of a something in the French. Mm -hmm. Seized of she seized of a gazelle. She seized of a of a gazelle. Yeah. Look at the French. We have some paradun. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I wonder if they're trying Dune to gazelle. Yeah. But they usually, the, usually the French, they keep the French grammatically correct. So grammatically, yes. even French throws. Right, 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 right. In there. Yeah, interesting, huh? Take... It's really a shortcoming of English more than anything that we don't. Right, it's usually word fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, her to, to milk. A mecher is a milk jar or it can also be a milker i mean like a dairy worker there's there are a lot of oh. aphorasiatic um like like nouns can be formed by verb plus m in front and this is one of the examples uh there are many others actually like for professions or for the doer where you just stick an m in front of it so that's kind of cool and i just couldn't finish the, the writing here but um, you could have, I was just looking at another document here as we speak, um, you could have like, imagine the the striking arm at the end, just like this, um, that would be another mm -hmm. spelling. So just uh, H, R, maybe the the the, the uh, year at the end, and then imagine that thing here, which for some reason I can't edit anymore. Well, be that as it may. I think you can imagine it. You know, all this stuff. All right. Hieratic on this one. Um, mech, M, Wa. 
Uh, Gehesset, the T again is on faith. Um, this is this funny uh, flying squirrel that for some reason looks completely different in hieratic. Um, you say or is say. Uh, this is interesting. This is where it later becomes a demotic. It's really just like a long falling, left falling stroke for the root glyph. Um, so you can already see the shape here going in that direction. Um, this here, that's interesting. I wouldn't have known that that's the... Yeah, that's the ligature must be of the arm and the finger. Right, I mean, this is just the arm, right? Arm with a stick. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. The little thing on top wouldn't have identified that way, but okay. Are we sure yeah. on this one? Yeah, that's what Ellie has to just looking. Guess we remember that. Yeah. So, her say she milked it. You say her gent and chorus, and somehow they they and hor and they glued those two together, which is kind of cute. Hmm. Do you write this first and then just that's, the other one? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, would I think I would write that last, but I I don't know. Yeah. I mean, this looks very intentional. He left space here. It's not like he forgot the end or something because then the, the yeah. jet would go all the way back to the, the baseline and it doesn't. Right. I almost right. think just looking at the color here as if he wrote this first and then that was an add-on and hey, well, I'm at it. I don't know. Also, ink, I mean, something I've noticed when practicing this, ink stays wet for a while so you can do this kind of uh -huh. thing. So it's like, like oil painting. It doesn't get dry immediately you can still mess with it which also means that if you're not careful you're going to smudge all over the place not speaking from experience not at all <laughs> <laughs> um this is some kind of imperative like you said with the pathetic yod um open door here oh no door door whatever um, like the door above the thingy door. above the door the like lintel or something like that is that what that is Oh, is that what that is? I always imagine it like, you know, but I could be completely... I thought it was like a door leaf. Yeah, was... Like an old saloon, yeah. I always thought it was something like... Oh. Yep. Okay. Right. Right. In the underworld text, that door comes up a lot. That's a swinging door. Like the door, like imagine saloon doors. Yep. Exactly. Nice, nice. I thought that's what it was. And you can... Yeah. Okay. Uh, eat it. Um, no, that that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, he they like long case, and especially he does. Why not? <laughs> this is so cool. Um, is it ligatured with the little flush dot, the little droplet flush thing? Um, must be. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is kind of weird, right? Um, but yeah, it is. I just like this. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nigh. And then basically what becomes erote in Greek. Uh, in Greek, in, not in Greek, in Coptic. <laughs> erote in Greek is something else. Um, yeah. That's it. Very cool. A uh, question. Yes, sir. Anastasia. So I looked up um, the word for milk, milk in, in Middle Egyptian, um, and they have it written two ways. They have it written with the plural strokes, and they have it written with a single stroke. Hmm. But the one, uh, it's it's in Vicus. Um, the one with the plural stroke, though, has a little particle, the little particle um, glyph above the plural stroke. So I guess I guess what I'm asking is, does fresh does fresh milk look part particularly? <laughs> to make up a word, does it have like little particles into something or? Is it curdling, basically? <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe that's why they use the plural strokes um, for milk. 
It's interesting. I mean, I think here they, they said milk drops in the translation, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. It's a really interesting thought. Um, could there be a distinction that we're missing? Here they say, medse gutele. So basically, put these these uh, drops of milk. Is that it? Mm. But I guess they're just trying to imitate the, the plural. Hmm, I don't know. So you're saying that there's like two versions, basically, one with with like a dot and... Hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it's in Vegas. That's interesting. Uh, let me see what Faulkner has, just because I happen to open. I have that open milk, a milk goddess. Okay, now you know. I had no idea. Milk, 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 milk. Oh, here's my mecha, the milk jar I was talking about. But yeah, nothing else. Milky Way. Hmm. So you said in Vigus. Let's take a look. Vigus, where are you? Okay, should have done this differently. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I mean, that is kind of weird for for liquid. No idea. Grapes has this. It makes me wonder too, is water always plural? Or is water like singular? Like do they use the plural marks in liquidy things or? Mm, I think what I can say about water is I think you can have it with a singular article, if I'm not mistaken, which basically okay. will tell you that Linguistically, it's and maybe that's a good thing to look at. How is it treated linguistically? Like, is it here? It's treated as a plural, which was the thing that threw us off initially, right? Is that a common thing or could it be singular? Um, let's take a look. Uh, Does the water have a form in Coptic, like a separate? I do not know that. <laughs> Muiu or something. What's well, a bunch of extra vowels? You're right there. Uh... I'm going to misspell it, I'm sure. No, hey, for once not. Good. Let's see what Crump has, uh, Crump has to say. We're going a bit over, guys. I hope you're okay with that. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, How did you get to the digital edition of the Coptic Old Testament? Wow. The Coptic Old Testament? Yeah. How did you get there? So oh, the crumb link on Mary, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Make sure there are links to the old cop, Coptic Old Testament website scan of crumb, which is very. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. I see what you. I see what. Oh my God! I never read the title. That's why I was completely. Take a digital edition of the Coptic. You mean the? Oh. Very nice. So I mean, oh. there have been scans of crumb floating around forever, but they were brave enough to put it online so people could link to it, which is really nice. <laughs> they did a great job. Yeah, cool. yeah nice. Yeah. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah. Here's your plural. Muy. Yeah. Muy. Muy. <laughs> muy or. Muy. Muy when one plural is enough. Of course, a problem with Coptic is that they, also, they make up plurals. Uh, for example, the plural of uh, of psuke, uh, I mean, uh, like like psyche, right? The plural of psuke is psukowe. And that's not original Greek. That's just a, um, a, a plural build in analogy. What you'd have to look up is, is it ever spelled that way in hieroglyphs or in the demotic maybe, where you could like find uh, a plural already? Um, yeah. I don't know because you normally just write it with the the three lines water, right? Um, right, right. But let's take a quick look at the the milk thing. 
and yeah, it doesn't. Lesko has five, and three of them have plural strokes. For the the milk. For milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Two of them do not. Well, let's see if we can mm -hmm. find any more articles for it. Uh, And these all just say of milk. This is the only one that has an article. I know, I'm wrong. Oh, well, same text. But again, nah. Huh. Mm -hmm. So the two attestations that we have handy are actually both used in the plural. That is interesting. I would not have expected it to be used as a plural word. Hmm. Is that it? Nothing else? Um, any other words? No, that's it. That's the word. I would go to the TLA. The only problem with it is that the sentence um, sentence lookup has been broken now for a few weeks. Um, but let's see. Maybe it works. What's the difference between these two? Milk and milk. Okay. So if I'm going to click on that, I'm betting it's going to give us a timeout. Maybe not on the weekend. Hey. Lucky. Hey. Nice. So here, for example, it's used as a singular because you have the singular art um, genitive marker after it. Mm, okay. Net, not no. So that kind of would say singular is possible. Here you can tell. Um, here you can tell either all these offering formulas, they're abbreviated anyway. So how would you know? Uh, I'll, oh no, that's the one that we were just looking at. That's ours. Um, that's just basically like the next line. I don't know. We'd have to go through a whole bunch of them now. Hmm. Not sure. I mean, you could do a proximity kind of search. Um, hang on. If you use the old thesaurus, uh, this one. Let's assume it's a, fem a feminine word. So that would be the feminine article. And then we grab the, where did you go? TLA, where are you? Here we go. And we grab the word from here, 380, I'm sorry, 30,080. Search for combined attestations. Stick this in here. I don't want it further than a word away. I don't want it on the left. Only to the right. And let's do this. Nope, it doesn't like that. So that doesn't exist. How about na? Um, we should find na because we've just seen that. It's more like the... The opposite direction, seven, nine, five, three, zero. The user interface is just breathtaking. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it amazing watching people do this? <laughs> so, Could you make real... it more complicated? I mean, my right. God. <laughs> right. Can you make a tutorial, Aurelio, on just, okay. So like if you're looking at the semantic range of a word, here's what you do. If you're looking at the like near relative sentences, I think that would be kind of cool. That would be really useful. Yeah, uh, what you basically you do here is essentially you can put two words and you can define how far to the left or the right you want to go uh, to find any yeah, sentences yeah. that have both of them within that search range. Um, it is a cool tool. It's clunky as heck because you can't, look things up in the tool you always have to go like someplace else and first look up the number then paste the number in which is like uh, right now i'd like to know well we found one example with na what about nai well we don't know so i'll have to open another uh, browser look up nai and then hopefully find that there we go is that it um not really this one 
So yeah, it's, it's the other not... problem is that the the lemma numbers aren't clean, like they've merged several databases. So sometimes common words have multiple numbers. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's annoying. And we, we've so just so complex. We just seen <laughs> these milk, right? And it doesn't come up. These milk because I, how else am I going to to imitate this in English? Um this off milk. Uh ba, 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 ba. Is it under this? I mean, it has to be somewhere. So yeah, it's not, it's unfortunately not still a bit clunky. Then again, wow. if we okay. didn't have it at all. You, you might want to increase the maximum distance to two because Middle Egyptian might use na in. Oh, oh sure. Good point. Nope, not this one though. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so hours of fun, if you have nothing else to do, if, if Sudoku is broken. <laughs> then... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Long story short, milk is plural. <laughs> milk is plural. Okay. Cool. TLDR milk is plural. <laughs> <laughs> or at least sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Considering that we're 11 minutes over, should we leave it there for today? Yeah, I need to run to other stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so I cool. I need to go milk a gazelle. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Wow. Right, thanks, everyone. That was fun. <laughs> Good. And then see you all for, for Ramses next week, I guess. Have a great weekend. Yeah, that was awesome. Woohoo. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.